A find and replace panel can be accessed with the find command. Or, if active, from the right-click menu. And of course there is a panel on the ribbon. The command can also be launched from the classic menu bar. But here you can see something else. Behind the commands there is also their shortcut. But the find command does not have a shortcut. So let's make one. Open the Customize User Interface panel. Select the keyboard shortcuts. Then the shortcut keys drop down menu. Here you can see the commands that already have a keyboard shortcut assigned to them. Perhaps the best known is the shortcut for saving, Ctrl plus S. Here you can see which shortcut is assigned to the command. At the bottom, select all commands only, then search for the command you want. I now choose the find command. If you find it, simply copy it into the menu above. Or drag it to the desired location. Does not yet appear in the shortcut list because no shortcut is assigned. You can assign a shortcut here below. As a test, I will first choose one that already exists. The save command shortcut is already taken, so I get an error message. Now I'm going to choose one that I know is not on the list, and that I can easily remember. Control F works for me. Apply and OK works immediately. After restarting the Customize User Interface panel, you can see the created shortcut in the list, where you can delete it and edit it. You will see the menu bar only after restarting AutoCAD, since the menu is loaded with the program. And then here's a quick tutorial on what keyboard shortcuts are for. Make sure that no command is typed while drawing. There is another option that does not need to be burned into the customized user interface, just enable the classic menu bar, through which also many commands are available. For example, here is the find we used before, but now we will call it differently. You can see that when you press the Alt key, underlines indicate which letter you can use to access that menu. For example, Alt followed by F opens the file menu. Further underlines in the menu then indicate which key you can use to access the command or submenu. So the find command is called Alt, then E, then F. The line command looks like this. Alt, then D, then L. And polyline is like this. Alt, then D, then P. Select the commands you use a lot and create a shortcut for them. Once you use them automatically, you'll be able to draw at a speed you won't believe. Thanks for watching.